today we have the, uh, the chance of being on board Viking K, one of the most historical fed ship that exists. And uh, we have also the great opportunity to have on board the historical uh, captain uh, who has been a captain of that vessel for many, many years, the captain uh, Gino Battaglia. Gino Battaglia, good day. Thank you for having accepting our invitation. I, I have a first question is when you, you step on board that boat for the first time, because you have not been on board that boat for quite some time, uh, what was your first impression? Well, uh, it's a uh, really big emotion to, to come back on King after many years. I spent 10 years of my life on this boat and I have a lot of remind. And also I was surprised that the quality of the boat uh, is keeping very well. And uh, well, it was uh, really, I'm still emotional. Um, if uh, we have to point one remarkable point uh, uh, that uh, you could say about the, about the boat, what could it be? Well, this boat, you know, we're talking about the 91, was the, the uh, first, the quality of the vessel, the building, the shipyard, the feed ship, was bought with six cabin at this time, 40, 40, almost 42 meters with six cabin, was unusual at this time. And uh, we did a lot of charter, the boat was a very full charter, and a uh, lot of uh, client uh, love this boat for the quality, for the stability, for the silence. Also, the draft was interesting, 2.5 meter, all the Bahamas uh, island, uh, you, you can sail. We, we did a lot of charter in, the, in, the, in Bahamas and the Grenadine, because the boat was uh, comfortable, a lot of open space, the upper deck was very nice, a lot of party. Uh, the boat very, very, was a very successful boat in the charter industry at this time. You crossed how many times at the Atlantic with the, with the King K? I crossed in 14 times with the King K. I did more, more than 150,000 miles on this boat. The, the only love of Bart, the whole uh, Caribbean island, and uh, the boat was sitting there for all winter time. For many years we, we have been there uh, non-stop. Uh, thank you very much, Captain. Would you mind if we are going to see the vessels together around? Pleasure. Excellent. So today we are in the uh, main saloon. It is very large saloon. Well, this is saloon uh, also here. There's a lot of reminder because uh, every evening I come to talk with the charter people, and sometimes they invite me for dinner. And you see that when people you come in the saloon, you see the people are sitting and are smiling. That means it was a successful uh, charter. So from the main saloon, which is a very large main saloon, it leads to the uh, formal dining room. It's very uh, classic and a very beautiful large dining room. Yes, here is a very large dining room for the size of the vessel. And also I, um, I remind that on some time I have some private meal or maybe business meal, you can close this door, you have a sort of private area. Ah, very, very classic and chic. And that's the, the galley is right uh, across, and you can actually uh, serve yeah. this dining room yes. from the galley. You are uh, serving from the galley, or sometimes if you want to avoid uh, the noise, maybe the, the steward they can pass in through the, the side door on this side, and they come into serving in this way. There are two, two, two options. And we have now into this beautiful corridor that leads to the uh, master, which is on the main deck, and to that study, large study. Well, this is, I, I remember that many guests appreciate this, uh, this study and uh, the, it's not, it was not easy at this time to, on this side of the to find a cabin like this with the, also the view that you have on the two sides, you have open view when you are in Anchorage, you are really close with the sea and it's quite large and uh, very, very silent, uh, no noise in this cabin. It was very, very great. And it's amazing to see that the woodwork is uh, untouched, it's original. Yeah, the, the woodwork here is uh, still, uh, I'm very surprised at the way they keep it, it's fantastic till today. Uh, this uh, master cabin has uh, uh, large bathrooms as well, a large wardrobe. Yes, that's a large bathroom uh, and uh, the charter lady are happy to have this space on the bathroom all the time. And also the headrooms, I'm surprised that we have such a few headrooms on the yeah. vessel. Yes, this is uh, also was not, uh, I think was uh, uh, 205, 206 was the, and uh, uh, you, you don't feel uh, any, uh, you know, it, exactly, we don't feel any pressures. We feel like having a very large uh, volume, and that is absolutely appreciative.
So we are now in the uh, VIP uh, cabin, which is basically midship, and that we just progress from the uh, main deck down. And this is a full width uh, cabin, it's massive. Yes, and man, this cabin was very important for the owner because the, some special guest was uh, hosted here. Uh, this space uh, is, is really amazing. I have this nice cabin on the middle ship, that very uh, stable area, and uh, it's very wide because it takes all, uh, all boat. Well, a very fantastic cabin. And it has uh, the original uh, bathrooms, which is absolutely stunning, with uh, original Dutch tiles, uh, which is uh, incroyable. The vessel has been kept the exact same as it, when it was built. And from the main saloon now, uh, we are leading to the uh, guest cabin, four guest cabins, four guest that cabins. are also very, very large. So let's have a look. So we are now in uh, one of the four cabins uh, of the uh, guest area. They are all uh, set up on, uh, on twin, uh, twin, twin beds, and two on the back has uh, um, pullmans. Very large the cabins. Yeah, the, the, the cabins are very large, but also for the size of the vessel, comfortable, uh, the, the classic style. Everything has remained the same. The wood is very keeping well. I said uh, the, the, the guests enjoy the cabin. Very quiet as well. Very quiet, yeah, this well, is, is fairly ship board. There was, there's no noise when you're sitting in this cabin. We are now in the uh, galley, which is like a professional galley. A lot of storage as well for the, a uh, lot of fridges everywhere, a lot of walking fridges around the boat because it was supposed to go long distance. We are now in the engine room, Captain uh, Gino, and uh, those, uh, we can see now those uh, GM two strokes, uh, huge babies. Uh, but the, those engines are unbreakable, and huh? they took the boat everywhere. Yeah, this one, I remember that time coming down frequently during the crossing to say, please do your job well. And uh, this it was fantastic. These two engines, uh, the consumption is very low. I remember it was 100 liters per hour. Oof, it's nothing. And those engines have took the boats to 14 times across the Atlantic? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So we are now in the uh, bridge of uh, the King K. Well, very nice bridge here. <laughs> I spend a lot of day and night on this bridge, sailing uh, around the Med, Greece, Turkey, in the Caribbean. And what is uh, here, really uh, passing a lot of uh, nice moment. King K, it's an amazing vessel with uh, full of history. Uh, was born uh, for an American, uh, very famous uh, owner, and now is owned by a very happy owner. And today is uh, available to be uh, sharing a new life, a new venture with uh, a new owner to come.